we're going to look at equivalent circuits now of the combination of some basic gates. Sometimes we might uh, connect multiple digital gates uh, to form complex circuits and other times we might want to simplify those those complex circuits. Uh, note that we've got an AND gate here and a NOT gate and what we're going to evaluate in just a moment is find out that this AND and NOT together is going to be equivalent to the NAND gate. Let's start by evaluating this AND and NOT gate together and build a truth table for it. One thing that I do whenever I'm uh, looking at a complex uh, circuit like this where multiple gates are connected together is uh, I kind of I try to break it up into chunks and chunks that uh, that we understand I understand how the AND gate works and I understand how the NOT gate works and if we look at those things in little chunks like that then it's going to be simpler to uh, um, step by step go through and evaluate this so to, to break it up in a chunk I'm going to look at just the AND part of of this gate first and if I look at just the AND part of the gate well there's an A and B input and something's coming out let's call that C so whenever I make my logic table you see I just put in in the C uh, that's what I do is I, I make a little bit of room in my logic table where when we were evaluating uh, single uh, gates with two inputs we've just got a an A and a B input and some kind of an output whenever I have multiple gates I break it up into chunks like that and I'm going to have a spot for the output of the individual gates you'll see how it's helpful here in a moment knowing how an AND gate works I'm going to fill in C as the output of the AND gate of A and B so uh, in this case I got a 0 and a 0 got a 0 output 0 and 1 0 here we've got a 0 and the only place that uh, the AND gate outputs a 1 is there where there's a 1 and a 1 now uh, now I've got an output of, of an AND gate right there and uh, the interesting thing that we can use is now that we know what C is not only is it the output of the AND gate but it's the input of the NOT gate remember what the NOT gate does is uh, it outputs the opposite of whatever comes into it so a 0 goes in a 1 comes out a 1 goes in, a 0 comes out. So what we have here is the output of of this combination circuit, a 1, a 1, 1, 0. That's the output of this combination circuit. Notice that this output, 1, 1, 1, 0, is the same as the NAND gate this AND and NOT together it's equivalent to the NAND gate two inputs and the output input output so uh, if we wanted to simplify a circuit we could do that we could replace um, an AND and a NOT that were put together we could pretty replace that with this NAND gate it may be more efficient. And it's also helpful to know that how to expand out uh, um, some circuits to know that um, the equivalent to this is uh, those two things the AND and the NOT. And uh, reviewing again multiple gates can be combined together to form a logic circuit. Sometimes we can simplify that uh, or find equivalent gates. It'll, it'll go either way. I broke it up into chunks. 
I knew how to evaluate each individual gate by itself. Sometimes whenever you're breaking it into chunks, uh, remember I had to write that, uh, that CN, and I had to build my table with room to evaluate those, those outputs. Whenever you have a gate, it's norm you may have uh, uh, the inputs, the first inputs into the gate labeled, but uh, you might have to write in some of these middle um, parts where uh, it's coming out of one thing and going to the other. I had to write in that C and I had to make space in the table. You might have to do that.